Well, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to extend a very warm welcome from the uh, board of the presidency of the university. And I know I have a very hard job right now. It's an uphill, an uphill fight because you're actually starting your hurricane, which you deserve very much because you have, uh, you have had a, a very intense day today. And some of you, or maybe most of you, just flew in uh, yesterday and maybe jet lagged. So uh, I try my best, and the best that you can do in these situations is to be short. So um, I, I'm very happy actually to realize that uh, IPDET 2.0 will be the hallmark of a restart of something that has already been working for 16 years, now in a different place on the same earth. And uh, I'm very happy actually to figure out that we can do this now here in Bern together with our colleagues from the uh, Center of Evaluation in, in the Saarland together with uh, our colleagues at the university, which is the CDE, uh, essentially, and also the, the Center uh, uh, of Continuous Education, and then also, of course, with the, uh, the World Bank. So this is a great opportunity for us. Now, why burn? And uh, this brings me to the point to explain to you, at least in some words, where you finished up and why you hope that you finished up in a good place here in Bern. As scientists, we all know and we all like competition, and we have heard this already this morning. We have had the uh, Soccer World Championships finishing yesterday, and about 40 nations essentially took place here. And uh, we have been uh, actually going through a process of evaluation, and out of about 40 competitors, we made it here. So it's a sort of a similar success that we can have here. Competition, of course, is in the heart of, uh, essentially, in the DNA of every researcher, and that's not only true for research, of course, that's also true for many other disciplines. But who are we at the end of the day? So we are a comprehensive university, we have actually eight faculties, and we are, in terms of student numbers, which are now close to 18,000, we are number three in Switzerland. We're having a hard challenge with the University of Geneva uh, uh, because we are about the same size and, and uh, only the University of Zurich and ATH Zurich essentially is, um, is, is, uh, has more students than, than we have. Now, our university belongs, according to the rankings, uh, to the best 1% of all universities. And let me give you two examples why we believe this is the place where we have to be. And the first example that I would tell you has to do in some terms with uh, sustainability. Uh, as we are, I believe, very strong in climate science. And uh, all of you know the uh, former Vice President of the United States, Al Gore. And when he is traveling through the world and he's showing this extraordinary diagram with the COO, uh, CO2 concentration, which is raising over time, then essentially the data for this comes from the University of Bern and has been actually put out of the ice cores that have been analyzed for trace gases and greenhouse gases here at the University of Bern. Now there is another discipline which is a bit related but not completely and that's space science. Uh, we are very strong in, in space science and I'm telling this to you because next year, 2019, will be 50 years essentially of the, of the Apollo mission 11, and that was the first man on the moon. 50 years ago, that's a long time. Why am I saying this? Because the first scientific experiment that has been put out by the crew of Apollo 11 was a, an experiment of the University of Bern, and essentially it was an experiment to sort of uh, identify the, uh, the components of the solar wind. So um, I believe these are two examples which show that we are here, and I must now make the gap again. Of course, in this audience, we are not looking for the next planet that we could eventually populate, but we are at the point where we should probably think and rethink our planet here and make of our planet a better world than it is right now. So clearly, we have ethical responsibilities as universities, and essentially, uh, we put this under the motto at the University of Bern, which says knowledge generates value. And I think that's true for everybody and every institution that brings, 
further and that furthers essentially knowledge gaining in, 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 in all disciplines. We have a strategy, a university strategy, which we call Strategy 2021, which means that in a short time we have to rethink the strategy for 2030, probably. But within this strategy, uh, there are five key areas that we have defined, and I would say three of them essentially apply to what IPTED essentially has to do and wants to do and already did in the past. And this is, of course, sustainability. It's um, intercultural knowledge. And at the end, it's politics and administration. We are here in the capital of Switzerland, so we try to provide research but also training for people that are uh, in the central government here, either on the level of the confederation but also on the canton. And of course, if it comes to sustainability, then we are certainly at the core of the Center for Development and Environment, where eventually we do research but also training on five different continents in the world, essentially to figure out how to inspire policy makers to make this planet a better world, how to engage also partners from different countries in a joint effort in research but also in teaching. Now, we are very proud also that coming back to the questions uh, where do we play a role in the world, that um, the uh, former president of the CDE, Pedro Messoli, is of course the co-chair of the UN 2030 agenda uh, on sustainability. And I just learned from Ms. Luder, who uh, essentially met him this morning or yesterday, she just flew in from New York this morning, that uh, this, this report is actually well on the way and is well organized and I'm very happy essentially to hear this. So I promise not to become too long, so let me end up with uh, the thanks that go to all the institutions and people that stay behind this heat date. Of course, I would, I would thank uh, uh, the data, which is represented by Nicole Udo here. Uh, she will follow up my uh, short uh, talk here. Uh, um, and I would also like to thank all the sponsors that make this possible and uh, essentially finance also uh, uh, um, grants to students or uh, people to come here. Then, of course, I would like to thank the World Bank that uh, realized this morning that when the question came up, do we need it, that, that they realized, yes, we need it, that, and we need it more than than ever because uh, the Agenda 2030 of the UN will actually bring changes into the whole system in a way that we need to think more about evaluation and, and, and correct evaluation and as uh, we have heard in the keynote lecture this evening that um, we need to make sure that we are still evaluators at the end and, and, and we teach people in evaluation and we are not going into a society that is purely uh, uh, um, determined controlled by uh, people who uh, are sort of in the area of the parasciences or in the consulting uh, area. Now, I would also like to uh, thank the Centre uh, for Evaluation at the Saarland University, which actually, in joint efforts, will bring further the, uh, the two next weeks for you. And then, uh, last but not least, of course, the, uh, the Centre for Continuous Education at the University of Bern that has done, I think, uh, a very strong uh, effort in order to bring this uh, IPTED 2.0 to Bern. Now, the next two weeks, essentially, that you are going to stay here and follow the courses at the university and follow the program, of course, will determine whether there will be uh, continuation. And we all strongly hope, of course, that the next 16 years of IPTED 2.0 will be here in Bern. You would be welcome on these occasions. And now, let me wish you a good stay here in Bern. Enjoy also a little bit the leisure time that I imagine you will not have too much of it. Um, uh, uh, but anyway, uh, you know, uh, the mayor of the city of Bern already this morning mentioned to you where the good places are to look at. It's the, uh, the old center of the city. And of course, for the swimmers of you, don't miss the river, but be careful. Thank you very much.